Crossplay is the big thing in 2018, and Bethesda has now confirmed that they were hopeful to add this feature to Fallout 76, but unfortunately they ran into a problem that being Sony's current stance. Understand Bethesda seems to have a very strong relationship with both of Sony's biggest competitors, Nintendo and Microsoft. With Nintendo, Bethesda has been one of their biggest third-party supporters, releasing many ports of their AAA releases to the Nintendo Switch, and with Microsoft, they've worked together for years, and recently at E3 2018, they revealed Fallout 76's first full trailer on their stage. Now, Bethesda and Sony, on the other hand, have for a while had a rocky relationship relationship. The biggest example of that came back in 2015 and 2016. One of the big features that was revealed to be a part of Fallout 4 was modding. This was announced to be coming a number of months after the game's initial release. At the end of May 2016, Bethesda finally delivered on that promise for Xbox gamers. Revealing in a statement, starting today we are excited to deliver on something that we've wanted to do for a very long time, bring mods to a console audience. With the latest title update for Fallout 4, Xbox One gamers are now able to browse mods on Bethesda.net and more importantly can download directly and play mods within the game's main menu. Playing Fallout 4 and PlayStation 4, your wait is almost over too. We anticipate mods arriving on the PS4 next month, except that would not happen happen. Three months later, Bethesda released a statement saying mods on PlayStation 4 would not happen, taking a direct shot at Sony. After months of discussion with Sony, we regret to say that while we have long been ready to offer mod support on PlayStation 4, Sony has informed us they will not approve user mods the way they should work, where users can do anything they want for either Fallout 4 or Skyrim Special Edition. Like you, we are disappointed by Sony's decision, given the considerable time and effort we have put into this project, and the amount of time our fans have waited for mod support to arrive. We consider this an important initiative, and we hope to find other ways user mods can be available for our PlayStation audience. However, until Sony will allow us to offer proper mod support for PlayStation 4, that content for Fallout 4 and Skyrim on PlayStation 4 will not be available. Eventually, about a month later, Sony would budge, although mods would come in a more limited way compared to the Xbox One version. Finally, to present day, Sony's big problem right now is crossplay and their decision to not do it. This is a decision that Xbox and Nintendo have been mocking in numerous videos and posts. Fans have been bombarding all social media posts made by Sony, calling them out for not allowing crossplay, an issue that currently is affecting many people who play Fortnite. But now it looks like even Bethesda is calling out Sony for not allowing crossplay, something that sounds like it was being planned for Fallout 76, Bethesda Game Studios' next game, which is an online survival RPG. Bethesda's game director Todd Howard recently spoke to German gaming site GameStar and he began discussing crossplay with some of their other smaller games Fallout Shelter and Blades and their plan to get those games on as many platforms as possible which led to a question asking if Fallout 76 would feature crossplay. Todd would reply with the following, we cannot do crossplay with Fallout 76 for some reasons. We would love that but we right now cannot. Then the interviewer would ask if Sony or Microsoft are the reason why, and Todd would say Sony is not as helpful as everyone would like, but we'll see what happens. The good news is that comments like this adds more pressure to the already growing frustration with Sony's anti-crossplay stance. Recently, Eurogamer spoke with Sean Layden, the CEO and president of Sony Interactive Entertainment America, about the crossplay issue, and Layden responded by saying we're hearing it. We're looking at a lot of the possibilities. You can imagine that the circumstances around that affect a lot more than just one game game. I'm confident we'll get to a solution which will be understood and accepted by our gaming community, while at the same time supporting our business. Previously, John Smedley, former head of Sony Online Entertainment, spoke on Twitter about why crossplay has not happened, saying, The stated reason internally for this was money. They didn't like someone buying something on an Xbox and it being used on a PlayStation. Simple as that, dumb reason, but there it is. And he additionally responded to one of Greg Miller's tweets on this matter, saying, if we keep the pressure up, this problem goes away, and like I said before, Bethesda now pointing their fingers at Sony keeps that pressure up, and I personally think very soon they will budge but only time will tell. Crossplay has been an issue going on for years, with originally Microsoft against it and the Xbox 360 days, but hopefully soon this issue comes to an end with Sony getting on board. 
Anyway, what is your opinion on crossplay for Fallout 76? Is this something that you want or not? Let me know down in the comment section below. But thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy this video or found any informative value. Also, consider subscribing for much more Fallout 76 content to come, and I'll see you later.